Hello, and welcome to the Magpie Embedded YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to break out of the Arduino IDE. Arduino is great, and it's made a big impact over the past decade or so in introducing people to electronics and embedded systems. However, their IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, can make it harder to move past the basics into more complicated projects. Arduino have recently released a command line tool called the Arduino CLI, which provides all the convenient Arduino features while opening the door to advanced usage. We're going to walk through how to set up the Arduino CLI on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So this is the documentation page for the Arduino CLI tool. It has all of the information we need to use it and we'll delve into that in a later video. For now we can see that the tools on version 0.15 are very much still in development. We have a link in the corner to the GitHub page if you want to get involved in how the tool actually works beneath the surface. But to start with we're going to look at the installation page which shows us how to download and install on different operating systems. We're going to start with Windows so we just scroll down this page a bit to the download section. Most modern computers are going to use Windows 64-bit, but you might want to check your system information to see if you need to use the 32-bit version. So we click here to download. We want to save the file. And then we can check out our downloads folder. Turns up as quite a small zip folder. We're going to right-click, extract all. And then we need to decide where to put it. It doesn't actually matter that much, but I'm going to put it with the rest of my programs. C, Program Files, and then I'm going to create a folder called Arduino CLI and extract it. Cool, so this is now in C, Program Files, Arduino CLI. Now this is good, but to use it from the command line, which is what we want to do, we need to add it to our system path. For this, you go down here, type in variables, edit the system variables, environment variables, and then find a variable here called path. This might be up or down, depending on how many other installations you have on your computer. We're going to edit this and then add a new variable, go to browse, and then we find where we've kept the Arduino CLI download. So mine is in C, program files, Arduino CLI. So we add that, it goes to the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. And now we're ready to use it. So I have an Arduino Uno from a previous project plugged into my computer. At the moment, it has a completely blank program on it. Let's see if we can upload a simple Blink example. So the first thing we're going to do is use the Arduino to show us which boards are connected to the computer. I'm going to go through the Arduino CLI commands in more depth in a different video. But for now, we can see that the core is Arduino AVR. And this is important because we need to install it. So we'll run R Arduino CLI for install Arduino AVR. And this will go and get us the latest version of the APR packages. Great. And now we'll upload my previously compiled sketch onto the board. And hopefully we'll see the power LED start to blink. So I'm going to set the COM port, tell it where to go. We have to say what type of board it is. And finally, which project we want to send. Great, so the LED has started blinking. So that's our Windows setup. And now we'll move on to Linux and Mac OS. So for Linux and Mac OS, 
it's actually a slightly different process, which we can do completely from the command line. So we'll scroll back up the installation page, find this instruction, which is going to download the latest version into a slash bin folder wherever we are. So we'll copy this and then go to our Linux machine. So once again, I've uploaded a blank sketch onto the Arduino, and this time we're going to run through the same process from Linux. So we paste that instruction in, hit enter, and it's going to download the latest version of Arduino CLI. And we can find the downloaded file in bin. So we now need to add Arduino CLI folder into our system path. There are a number of different ways to do this on Linux and Mac OS, but I'll show you a relatively simple and straightforward one. We're going to open the .bashrc file, which contains instructions on how to set up our terminal. We go to the bottom of this, and we want to add this line, which says export our path variable is equal to the existing path variable, and then adding on wherever we saved the Arduino CLI folder, and not directly that, but one up that bin directory. So in my case, that's in slash home, slash tim, slash bin. We then save that file, and we have the Arduino CLI. So let's check out which boards are connected. Great, so we have Arduino, AVR, Uno connected to slash dev slash TTY ACM0. That might be different depending on which machine you're using. I'm going to go over all of the Arduino CLI instructions in a lot more depth in a later video. But for now, we know that we have an Arduino AVR board, and so we need to install the platform to support that. Now that that's done, we can upload an example I compiled earlier, which should flash the power LED. So we need to set which port we want to target. And then say which kind of board we're using. And upload it onto the board. And yep, the power LED light is flashing now, so that's great. Now that you're up and running with the Arduino CLI, we're ready to take a closer look at the commands and configurations on offer. Please come back soon for part two of this series. And in the meantime, you can check out our website at magpieembedded.co.uk or contact us through the email in the description. If you found this video interesting or spotted something that could be improved, please let us know in the comments. See you soon.